Well, hey friends, welcome to this Trim Healthy Mama video. Usually I film a t video for a Tuesday, and it's not Tuesday. I knew I had this really great collab coming up and I just wanted you to enjoy the Trim Healthy Mama goodness that is coming your way. I have joined up with a bunch of really awesome women here on YouTube who are all Trim Healthy Mamas on various points of their journey. Some have been on for a couple years, some are just brand new. And so we come with a whole bunch of ideas, meal ideas, for you today. So basically, each of us have taken a different meal and we have are giving you suggestions for S meals, E meals, and fuel poles. I am doing lunches. So you are going to get ideas for breakfasts, lunch, lunches, dinners, snacks, and beverages. So ladies, I'm gonna tell you, pull out a notebook, pull out the notes app on your phone, whatever it is, get ready to write a whole bunch of ideas down because you are gonna pull yourself out of the meal rut if you happen to be in one. The playlist is listed down below and get ready. This is gonna be good and I'm so excited to be a part of it. If you're new to my channel, my name is Mandy and this is Sweetly Home where we like to talk about all things heart and home. Every Tuesday I do a Trim Healthy Mama video. We call it Trim Healthy Tuesday and there's so much good information in the comments of those videos so make sure if you click on that playlist, which I will have linked up above, Above, make sure that you go look through the comments because so many awesome women find these videos and share their experience, their recipes, their ideas in the comments. So it's a wealth of knowledge. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So today I'm going to share with you some S meals, E meals, and fuel pull ideas for your lunches. If you're anything like me and you're a busy mama, sometimes lunch, I don't know, it can be pushed to the back burner. Right now, it's almost 1.30 in the afternoon as I'm filming this. I haven't had my lunch yet. So I want to give you some ideas, some quick filling ideas for your lunches. These are great if you're a stay-at-home mom. They're also really great if you are a working woman too. They're easy to pack, transport, delicious, filling, and will keep you revved up and ready to go until your snack or your dinner. So let's get started. So I'm going to start off with the e-meal. And this, I gotta tell you, is one of my favorite emails. Just mm, so good. And I think I might put this together for next week because it's so good. So what it is, is a salmon salad. So hear me out. What I do is sometime during the week, we have salmon for dinner. I love salmon. I do not like fish. I'm not a fishy person. I don't like to eat it. And I think it's because it's the way it's prepared. I bake it in the oven. I don't know, it's just super delicious. It's not fishy tasting at all. So we'll have salmon for dinner, probably the night or two before, you know, sometime during the week. And I always have leftovers. I pop them in the fridge and then I pull together a delicious salad. So I put lots and lots and lots of leafy greens. I fill up my whole dinner plate with tons of greens and then I add a whole bunch more veggies on top of that. So I add uh, cauliflower, I'll add broccoli, green onions, tomato, whatever I've got going on in my fridge. Sometimes there are some um, bell pepper, I don't know, any vegetables that I can possibly find, I throw on the salad. I want this heaping and I want it big. And then I add a drizzle of balsamic vinegar. So good, so, so good. I tend to avoid the oil when it comes to putting this salad together because the fish is already a fatty fish. Um, and I don't wanna add, go over the limit for the E meal with the extra fat. So drizzle balsamic vinegar, and then I go ahead and I break up that salmon into chunks and sprinkle it over the top of my salad. Now, to make this E, I will add a scoop of rice, brown, whole grain brown rice, on to the salad itself and mix it all together. And I'm telling you, it is so satisfying and it is so filling and man, it is really, really good. So another tip I will give you when it comes to lunches is I really like 
to pre-portion my ingredients earlier in the week. So I like to chop as many veggies as I can, chop as many fruits, and store them in containers. I share a lot of that here on my channel when I do my kitchen day videos and you can watch me food prep. Um, it makes pulling together meals really fast and really easy when it comes to your lunches and you're kind of busy and in a hurry. So one thing that I do like to do when it comes to lunches is I love to have a pot of soup. I will make up a batch of soup earlier in the week and I will eat it for lunches all week long. It becomes the main portion of my lunch and it's just so filling. Cause that's the thing for me is I really like a filling lunch. I am not a bird like eater. I love to eat. And so I can satisfy myself with a big bowl of soup certainly staying within all of the guidelines, but a big bowl of soup and supplement it with any missing ingredients as far as the fuel is concerned. So one recipe that I love, 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 love for an E soup is the lentil soup. And I'll leave the page number here because it is in the Trim Healthy Mama cookbook. I'm not a bean eater and I'm not a legume eater or lentil or anything like that. I just, I didn't grow up eating those things. And so it's just not in my palate that much. But I got a wild hair and decided to try that soup and it's fan fantastic so there's an ease soup idea for you um, and that would actually be really good at if you took the rice off of your salad you could have um, some lentil soup to go along with your salad uh, to give you the e fuel so now let's talk about your s meal Again, keeping with the idea of a soup, I love this cauliflower soup. I found this recipe online on Pinterest and oh, it's so good. I've been waiting for cauliflower to go on sale so that I could remake this soup. It is delicious, it's simple, and it's so satisfying. And it's awesome to think that the main ingredient, the filling factor of this soup is cauliflower. So of course you want some protein to go along with your soup and I love some lean deli ham. Uh, I love some delicious chicken breasts that we have like cooked up and sprinkled on some seasoning. Magnifique. Um, and I also sometimes just like to do leftovers. So I'll have the soup and whatever S meal leftover that we have in the fridge. One of my favorites is Bangin' Ranch Chicken. Oh, I always make more of that. Uh, and so I'll have usually like half a piece of chicken to go along with the soup because the soup is just so filling itself. And then I like to round it out with a few berries. I love to add berries to my meals. So, so good. My favorite way to add them together is to do actually a little bit of a blend of some strawberries, raspberries, blueberries and then a couple blackberries so kind of the whole s berry package but of course you want to keep them within the limits you don't want like a huge heaping bowl of fruit here you want a small portion but you can add a bunch so i'm waving around this tool why because what i like to do is i like to throw the strawberries into the bowl and i use this tool this is from pampered chef it uh, grinds up your hamburger when you're making your ground beef for your tacos and I just muddle the strawberries a bit. It is so delicious. My mom always used to do it when we were growing up and I don't know what it does. It just releases some of the sweetness. I add a little bit of Trim Healthy Mama approved sweetener and it just it makes them, in the dead of winter, it makes the bowl of strawberries feel like it's the summer. It's so good. And then so I add the rest of the fruit in, mix it all together and so when it comes to a fuel pull lunch, I kind of resort to baked chicken. On Sunday evenings, I like to do what I call my Sunday prep. And basically, I'm getting my house and my home and our food ready for the week ahead. It makes life so much easier. And one of the things that I do is I chop all my veg veggies, all my fruits, and I bake chicken for the week ahead. And it's an easy, quick protein source for salads to eat plain or to mix into a soup for that protein element. So with my chicken, I like to sprinkle on various seasonings. My favorite is smoked paprika. 
it's just so good. I sprinkle on a little bit of pink Himalayan sea salt, cracked black pepper, some smoked paprika or Greek seasoning or Italian seasoning. And sometimes I mix all three right on the tray. So I have a, a line of smoked paprika chicken, some of Greek seasoning, and then some more of Italian seasoning. So I'm not getting stuck in the same chicken rut throughout the week. And I will also tell you that I season the chicken while it's frozen. So I like to get the chicken tenders or the chicken breasts from Costco, the Kirkland brand, and they're already frozen and I lay them out on the tray and then just add the seasonings from there. I've done this for years and years and it just works perfect. So I'll take that chicken breast, I'll chop it up, and I will add it to a Joseph's pita or a Joseph's lavash. And I will add some lettuce, some tomatoes, lots of the veggies that I have in my fridge, cucumber, some, I'll add some more seasonings and mustard and make myself a really hearty sandwich. And then one of my favorite sides that I often add to my meals is dill pickles. We have always got dill pickles on hand. In fact, we have a couple different styles of dill pickles. We've got the hamburger slices that are just like super thin. And then we've also got the, um, the just the classic round, delicious, crunchy dill pickles. I'll also add some fruit, so some berries. Uh, I really like to do that fruit medley that I mentioned in the S meal. But, um, and I will have like, some good girl moonshine and call it delicious. So here's the takeaways for when it comes to lunch and you are a busy person. And even if you're not busy, here's some ideas. First, prepare as much as possible. Set aside some time at the beginning of the week to get your meals ready for the week ahead. Bake your chicken, or if you love fish, bake some fish. Um, chop your veggies, chop your fruit, rinse your fruit, whatever it is. Make a pot of soup at the beginning of the week so that you have something all week long for lunches. So there you have it. I would love to know what your favorite meal ideas are for lunches. Leave them down below because let me tell you, <laughs> I'm sitting down with my notebook and I'm writing these things out because really, I can just get in a rut and I need some new ideas. And the best community is the community that we create here with each of us interacting with one another. So share your best tips. We would love to know what you're doing. Make sure that you check out the description box for all the ladies that are participating in this video. There's a playlist so it can just kind of loop on through all of the videos. Make sure you subscribe and thumbs up as you go. Leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.